Police say dozens of accused criminals and a lot of drugs are off the street tonight after a successful drug operation in Miami Beach. The target? Dealers who sold drugs near schools, churches, and parks. NBC 60's Jamie Gorilla is live now in Miami Beach with the details on Operation Euphoria. Jamie. Well, we all know it's illegal to sell drugs, but the punishment for selling drugs near schools, parks, and religious institutions are much stiffer. This is the takedown of one of 47 people arrested during Miami Beach Police's Operation Euphoria. A suspected dealer handcuffed, then taken to jail for allegedly selling drugs within 1,000 feet of a school, church, or park. This operation was unique in the extent, to the extent that it did a lot of follow-up investigation that goes beyond buying by an undercover investigator and then making the arrests. A lot of follow-up investigation work went into the back end of this. Operation Euphoria, a months-long investigation largely carried out by undercover detectives. It targeted open-air drug sales where kids and families live, play, and go to school. Police made 47 arrests, but there are still nine open investigations and seven bad guys are on the run. Two of those have left the state. These fellas have been around the block. These aren't good guys. The bad guys. Among those arrested, convicted felons, habitual offenders, and gang members. Operation Euphoria built on the success of another similar operation, Lucid Air. Lucid Air netted 100 arrests and confiscated drugs, money, and guns over six weeks. That operation targeted Miami Beach's entertainment district. And I really, really believe that because of the work we've done, the street crime section of the Miami Beach Police Department, because of our commitment to making a better, safer city, because of what we did with Operation Euphoria, taking bad guys off the street, we are a safer city today than we were yesterday. All right, now if convicted, those arrested could spend up to 30 years in prison. Reporting live in Miami Beach, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News.